Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Another Heartbeat Partner Spotlight. Today, I'm featuring Jano Noyles. Jano Nile Noyles? Niles. I don't know. I'm not good at pronunciations. But I like their page. It's pretty damn cool. Check this out. You'll see here that this person is a web developer. They've got HTML, CSS, and this little header here. They've got a cool little image. And what I really like about it is this. Check out the moments and check out the Vicky. I'm going to show you both of them. First off, show... Well, let's look at Vicky's because this is brand new. And I swear to God, like this is only like two days old. And Jano has created a cool Vicky. And what I like about Jano is Jano is using this tool in a different way than standard. Like Vicky's, generally you want to, you know, integrate your favorite moments from your favorite videos and put them into the text here or into the, into the blog post, let's say. But Jano basically just wrote a story and then published it. And that is so cool. I would have never thought of that. But if you have like creative writing or you write content, maybe you're a blog writer, maybe you just want to get the, you know, get something out there. You want to get some views on. You can already see Jano's gotten eight views in just the last, you know, not even, less than 48 hours. You know what? Use the Vicky's here on Heartbeat. Write your own story. Create your own content. Here's a cool little uh, look here. They've got uh, the heartbreak of Jose, a tale of love and loss. Jose was a kind heart and passionate young man who wore his heart on his sleeve. All right, so we've got this cool little, you know, Vicky. I like it. So there you go. There's the first thing I wanted to show you about Jano. I like that about him or her. I'm not sure I can't tell the gender from here. Plus, it's 2024, so, you know, it is what it is. But uh, now, we're going to move over to moments. Check this out. All right, when we click on moments, you're going to see here that he or she has all kinds of moments. I mean, we're talking stuff from religious moments here. All glory be to Christ. So they've got some religious music here. Then we've got some sci-fi stuff down here. We've got some uh, AI-generated content. Is it a real image? Is it a fake image? All sorts of different things. Uh, Land of the Creepy. Okay, that's interesting. It's all sci-fi, actually. Blade Runner 2079, Ex Machina, Terminator Judgment Day, Terminator Genesis, etc. Very cool stuff here. So there's all kinds of stuff here that you can look at, especially if you're into this type of thing. I'll keep going down a little further here. Alien stuff, if that's your thing. Oh, boy, alien abductions, and, I mean, the list goes on. But, uh, you know, we got to pick something here to show. So let me show you a little bit here. I want to show you, I don't want to show you the AI stuff because I've done that uh, recently. But uh, let's look at the sci-fi here. Let's start with Avengers Endgame and look at some of his favorite moments here. Oops, got to hit the button. The CGI was almost human, but not quite. How did that make you feel? A bit uneasy, right? No. Remember Polar Express? I did not feel uneasy at all. This Go ahead. has become a legendary bomb, and most people agree it's because the animation style landed right in the middle of Uncanny Valley. Okay, so this is about... The problem comes when something artificial... Uncanny Valley, and you'll see there that I forgot to load the moments, but my bad. Uh, so we skip forward to Polar Express, but hey, you know what? Lots of good moments here. Let's take a look at Star Trek Picard. Robot or artificial human oh. appeared to show actual human Data. consciousness. We jump into Uncanny Valley where we believe a robot can reason, learn, and feel like humans do. So, Uncanny Valley, I got a, I got a update there for you. I don't know if you've been watching what's happening in the AI space, but other than the feeling part, all that other stuff is seems to be coming true and a little quicker than maybe we anticipated. So, um, just saying, maybe there's uh, something there that. Uh, you know, robots are going to be doing a lot more than just being funny to look at. They're going to be folding our laundry and writing our code. Who the hell knows what's coming? Anyways, I'm going to skip forward a little bit here to 2001, A Space Odyssey. It's no wonder that this is a concern. A study by researchers Kurt Gray and Daniel Wegner yeah. found that robots were only unnerving when people thought they had the ability to sense and experience things. Yeah. That is extremely unnerving. And if you look at companies like Boston Dynamics, and there's a whole bunch of other ones, it's getting really weird, guys. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. It's it's getting pretty it's getting pretty wonky out there. But uh, there you go. 2000 Space, 2001 A Space Odyssey with Hal as the computer refusing the instructions from the pilot or from the astronaut was absolutely terrifying. And even all these years later, it's still an incredible movie. You got to go watch it. Let's get into some more uh, Bang Bang Shoot 'em Up. Let's get into some Terminator Judgment Day. I'm so aware, 2.14 a.m. Yeah. Eastern Time. 
August 29th. Of course, uncanny valley only occurs if we can tell that these things are artificial. Yeah. Once we cross the valley entirely and we perceive something or someone to be fully human, we then become more comfortable because we consciously or subconsciously perceive them as actually human. Yeah, so I don't think Drake is human, but uh, I get where this guy's going from. So he's got like a, a central thesis about this, I guess this, you know, this uncanny valley, he calls it, where you go from, you know, something being obviously AI, something obviously being robotic, and then, you know, you cross this little this little bridge, and then all of a sudden it has feelings and emotions and gets really, really scary. So I get that, uh, you know, interesting topic for a video. Let's go watch Ex Machina. Let's take a look at this one. On without human intervention. Now, if this happens, is that consciousness? Is that self-awareness? These questions start to veer into philosophy and existentialism. Ah, yeah. Please don't. Yeah, if you've read any existentialism, it'll drive you crazy. But guys, there you go. Take a look at this. Got a lot more coming up. Stay tuned.